Hey, Megan Muehlbach. A lot of people in Tucson recognize that name. Um, you know, obviously, the obvious, your dad is Matt Muehlbach, a U of A basketball great, and is now a Pac-12 commentator. Uh, what's it like being Matt Muehlbach's daughter? Um, it's cool, I guess. I mean, it's kind of fun because he gets to announce for the basketball games, so sometimes we get to go to them or, like, see him on TV, so that's pretty cool. And it's kind of cool knowing you came from, like, a college player, so that's really fun. So, yeah. No. No, he's he's a basketball player though, not a volleyball player. Yeah. So, what what can he lend to you as far as just a, a, you know being an athlete? Um, he tells me a lot of stuff about um, how he got to play in college and how like his motivation like drives him to get there and like what to focus on to like make sure you reach your goals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, always focus on like your main goal and just stay positive throughout it all to like. Sometimes you're going to go through a rough patch or something, mm -hmm. but you have to like push through that if you want to get to where you want to go. Right. And you also have a sister that plays volleyball also. Right? Yeah. So how did you guys get involved with volleyball? Um, I was just with a friend and we wanted to start doing club at Zona Volleyball. Okay. And so we just decided we'd sign up or whatever. And then I started playing a lot more and I started really enjoying it. And that's basically it. And you're, you set the, the record with the 12 aces I think you had last yeah. last week. What was that experience like for you? It was really exciting because um, it was like my first time ever doing something as cool as that, I guess. Right. And it was also cool to know because my entire team was like cheering me on a lot and they were like really supportive throughout it. They were like screaming. It was so exciting and it was such a fun time i loved it well, yeah, on a team like this you guys are so good and have some veterans to be a freshman part of it what's that like um it's really it's really nerve-wracking but at the same time they're super supportive because mm -hmm. they're obviously amazing players so yeah. it like i want to be as good as them and like i look up to them to play as good as them but they're also very supportive throughout it all. Like every time I get a kill or something like that, they immediately say like, great job, maybe. Yeah. So they're super supportive throughout it all, even though I can be nervous, obviously. Uh -huh. um, you're getting close to the state tournament. Um, what are your thoughts about that experience? What are you looking forward to the most about that? Um, well, I'm really hoping we win, obviously. Yeah. But um, I just am really excited just to go there and like to play because like I've seen it in like, movies or something you know mm -hmm. and i just always like dreamed like oh i want to do that someday ever since i was like 12 i wanted to do that so now that i actually might get a chance to go there even if i don't play a ton it's still like just being there being with the team and like mm -hmm. playing with all of them it's so exciting to me. now your dad's a, a broadcast he does a lot of other, other stuff um what do you what are you looking forward to doing after high school are you going looking at college volleyball and so forth what are you looking for um my dream would be to play in college. However, my height is kind of restricting, so I would, I would also love to play in beach maybe because I love beach volleyball too. I play that regularly. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And my dream college is UCLA. That's an amazing college. It's kind of hard, you know, oh, but yeah, yeah. it's been my dream since I was like 11. So. And it, it, what do you think about your father? Though I'm sure you watch the games that he announces. Do you, do you like listen to him and critique him when he comes home or anything like that? Um. <laughs> Honestly, I don't listen to him announce that much. I do like every once in a while and me and my sister, we kind of just joke around with him and like make fun of him or something, like when he announces, but yeah, um, sometimes we critique him or if he asks like for feedback sometimes, but, um, we'll tell him like you're talking too fast or like you're mumbling a lot or something like that. Is it, is it surreal to see him like on the studio, like you turn the TV on and he's sitting in the studio there? Um, is that a surreal thing for you? Yeah, it's kind of cool mm -hmm. just to know that he's like announcing for all these like amazing teams and like these amazing players in college, you know. Does, yeah. he ever, does he ever tell you he's the only player to not lose at Mikhail in his whole, in a four-year career? He, never he has it. told me that oh, yeah, multiple that. times actually, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, is your mom an athlete too? Or what's she... Um, not really. Like, yeah. she played sports growing up, but okay. never like a big time athlete or anything. Okay. So, what, what kind of balance do you get from your dad and your mom then, as far as your academics and your, and your athletic life? Um, they're very strict about my grades because mm -hmm. obviously grades are important if you want to be an athlete. Right. But um, they're also super supportive. So, like, if I'm going through a rough time in school or something like that, they're super supportive and they like try to help me get through it. Um, 
they're super easy to talk to, and um, they're also super supportive in sports. If I had a rough game, anything like that, they always are there for me. So. Well, great, Megan. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you we'll so much. We'll be following you the next few years. Thank, Thank you. you.